Welcome to It Is What It Is. I'm Sha Marie, and today Jean has come by to tell me about something I don't know about. It's like the Ahmad guy or something. Hi, guys. So <laughs> she's going to tell me about it. I'm already suspect because she's already told me some things. So, and as we know, I don't usually do the whole like race thing, but I guess it's super important here. So we will do the race thing. So. Jean's going to take it over. I'm going to co-host Jean's <laughs> Ahmad story because well, I don't is... know anything about it. So Jean will go. All right. So on February 23rd, Wait, hold on. Before you do this, though, why do you care? Like, what, what about this has made you want to come and do this? I guess when I saw this, uh, you know, that little fire in my belly uh -huh. sparked and I thought about just it's... The way that it was handled, the weeks and, and two months actually, more than two months went by, 74 days, before anything was done about this. And then just the cover up um, by the DA's office. And I want to let you guys know right now that me and Jean are kind of on two opposite sides of this. And we normally usually are. And that's why we do this. And only because <laughs> Jean likes to live in the just world. Mm-hmm. And I'm perfectly okay with her wanting the just world. And I just kind of live in the, yes, it sucks, but this is the part of reality none of us like. I guess. So. But they're, they're calling this a modern day lynching. We're in 2020. We're not well, in. We're not tell in me about 19... it and I'll see if I agree with a modern day lynching. I probably won't, but let's see. It's just bullshit because we're in 2020. Yeah. We're not in the 60s anymore. They don't need to be profiled because... And in 2020, it's harder, you need to make sure that you are convicting and accusing people of what you're saying. Yeah. And especially in this world where there is video surveillance, people have phones, you can record anything at the, at the drop of a dime. Mm -hmm. You cannot, in the eyes of the law, unless you want to fuck up your case, just immediately throw people in jail. Why? Why are they in jail? What did they do exactly? Can you prove that they did exactly what you're saying they did? Mm -hmm. Are other people going to agree they did what you did? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why things take longer. But I'm excited to learn why they say it took 40-something days. So tell me. 72. So, oh, shit. 72. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me this. Tell me from... Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Ahmaud Arbery, 25 years old, um, he... Graduated, sorry, he played football for Brunswick High School, graduated mm. in 2012. Mm -hmm. He was an aspiring boxer, so he's 25 years old, still living with mom and dad, but that's because that's not bad. he uh, went ahead and went into community college. Oh, that's not bad then. Go ahead. South Georgia Tech yeah. College to be an electrician in the fall. Go okay. ahead, live at home. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Making plans. So he's also an aspiring boxer. His best friend is uh, quoted, sorry, I'm... And then with my papers, his best friend quoted saying, type of guy that just calls to check on you. Mm. Okay, so he's kind, humble. Um, Not a fuck boy. Yeah, he was okay. a man of principles, loyalty, okay. respect, and okay. love. And so, you and I know a couple different athletic people that mm -hmm. take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I understand jogging is important in this whole thing. Like, the thing comes from a jogging incident. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, he was on his daily, it was like 2.23 mile jog. Uh-huh. Um, and they actually, on one of the protests, they did a, a 2.23 mile jog for him. Which must have been hard, because a lot of people... Can't even do that. They were uh -huh. doing the masks, too. Oh, shit. Just to show... Can't even make a run around Walmart in one of them. I fucking yeah, died. exactly. Gotcha. Okay. So, he's just a good kid going on his morning run. Now, mm -hmm. there's a lot of video surveillance about him being in a construction site because everybody has a ring cam and the inside cams and stuff. Um, I have a statement from the homeowner because there's a lot of... There's a lot of false accusation and flat-out lies. The whole investigation that the Brunswick Police Department did... Um, the Brunswick District Attorney, and then also Glen County, I believe it's called. 
Glenn County District Attorney. Um, at the end of this case, we're on our third DA. <sighs> Seriously, right now. So we still have And this case gone. just barely fucking started. It really okay. did. Because okay. nothing really happened until um, the district attorney turned it over to Georgia Bureau of Investigations, mm -hmm. which is like the FBI, but for your own state. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Shit's serious. Okay. 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 Um, I'll just go over the whole thing. So this case is drawn national attention. Um, and there's a lot of, of questions for about the investigation of this case. Um, lawyer Lee Merritt um, is going in front of the, the grand jury because he's saying prosecutorial misconduct because um, they distorted the facts. The police department distorted facts. Video contradicts what they're saying. Um, what are the police saying? Will happen. I'll let you know. They're saying that there was a string of burglaries. Okay. Or McMichaels reported that they were following. And who are the McMichaels? Um, Gregory McMichael and his son Travis McMichael. Are and they are currently in jail for. Right um, now they're in jail. Yes. Okay. For the murder and assault of Ahmad. Okay. So. Glynn County says their police were headed up to Satilla Shores neighborhood after 911 calls of suspicious activity just after 1 p.m. on February 23rd. Their officers heard shots. They were that close. They heard the shots that ended his life. Okay. Okay, so you bet they're going mm -hmm. as fast as they can. Um, in a statement on Facebook, the county officers uh, brought in Travis and Greg McMichael for questioning for a few hours after the shooting. Greg McMichael had worked as a Glynn County police officer decades before and recently worked for the Glynn County's D DA's office. So there's some... Mm-hmm. He had understanding of the law? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, and everybody knows him because they've yeah. worked with him. Mm-hmm. So men were brought into Glynn County Police Station for questioning. Um, Glenn County police officers sought the legal advice of the Brunswick District Attorney's Office in reference to pos possible charges. At that point, the DA's office became involved. They advi the DA's advised there needed to be further follow-up and detectives would be contacted the following day by the DA from the Waycross Judicial District, which is probably the, the Waycross County. Okay. Um, I lost my face. And the following day and reviewed their findings to them. Um... Let's see. Oh, the statement goes on saying the McMichaels are deemed not to be flight risks and the officers were advised by the DA's office that no arrests were necessary at this time. Um, the detectives met with DA George Barnhill Sr. of the Waycross Judicial Circuit the following day and they went through the videos with him. Uh, Barnhill Sen Sr. advised detectives before noon on February 24th that the act was justifiable high homicide and was citing the citizen's arrest law. Okay. Which is interesting because the Georgia citizen's arrest law states a citizen can, a citizen arrest you may detain, mm -hmm. detain mm -hmm. until law enforcement arrives. Mm -hmm. If you have probable suspect of a mm -hmm. crime happening. Mm -hmm. Not just, hey, this, this guy's running through and there's been robberies. Okay. And there's a whole fun fact on that little thing. Oh, and by the way, the law also, as part of a citizen's arrest, mm -hmm. you cannot use excessive force. Mm -hmm. So if they get away from you, they get away from you. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> um, according to Glen County, within 48 hours of the shooting, they were advised to let the McMichaels leave the police station and no arrests were necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, the county followed the d direction of the DA Barnhill Sr. and officers were advised not to publicly release information in reference to the case because it would impact for further prosecution. Meanwhile, we're hearing from the Waycross DA an email sent to the Attorney State General's Office dated April 7th. Waycross DA George Barnhill acknowledges um, that his son works in the Brunswick area DA. His son has worked on a case involving Ahmaud Aubrey. Barnhill states the previous that his, case involving him. Yeah. Of what? 
it didn't specify that. So they actually Ahmad didn't does have a record that. of some sort. Yes. Okay, go on. Uh, he states that his office in the Brunswick DA did not know until three to four weeks before the um, email was sent. Um, the connection between myself, my son, and my son having with Greg McMichael for several years. We now know that him and Greg both helped the previous prosecution of Aubrey. I think it's the best interest of justice to recuse myself and my office from this particular investigation. And so April 7th. That's when they turned stuff over to, no, May 5th. I'm lying to you. So, the whole claims about a string of burglaries. The last burglary that was reported mm -hmm. in that neighborhood was seven weeks prior. So, it's not a string of burglaries. No, and okay. there's time between. It was a gun that was stolen out of an unlocked car oh, okay. in front of the McMichaels home. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And we have surveillance video of that. Um, that is all surveillance video. Of that so where? Around. Okay, so before Jean showed me a video, which I will link the video that she showed me. We're not gonna obviously. You guys can't see it. I think that's just the video of the whole so, thing going down. So okay, so she shows me this video. And obviously, if you guys know about it, you guys know about it. But I'm just going to tell you what I see. So, what I understand is that from behind this vehicle, this truck, we have two white men in a truck. We have a young black man jogging. I don't know the race of the man behind the video camera. Mm -hmm. He sees this young man running and says, I'm going to videotape this because this is very interesting in my life and so he does he records this he's driving down the road next thing you know we see Ahmad fighting who did you say he's fighting who is he tussling the son Travis so the dad Travis is in the back McMichael. of the truck mm -hmm. dad is the man in the back of the truck mm -hmm. so what I see happening here unfortunately Gene is yes they may have been trying to do a citizen's arrest which is why I'm assuming they are hunting him Mm -hmm. quote unquote following him because wait how did they find out that he went into the home exactly the how did they know the McMichaels claimed mm -hmm. that they saw a black man running down running like hell down the street and so they decided they needed to follow him so they took pursuit mm -hmm. seeing him so he was not jogging he was running yeah there was the one call of suspicious activity mm -hmm. okay well, in not the, me. In by the call, homeowner. though, in the call, though, he says he's in there right now. I see him on the camera. Mm -hmm. What camera? How do they get access to this camera if Across they don't own the, the home? Street, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume because um, Edward, let me see, Larry England is the homeowner of that. Is he friends with site? the the son and the dad? Um, I don't believe so. Because Larry England. Okay, but how do they see what's happening on his surveillance camera? Because he turned it in. He got a they lawyer. say they see it right now. Like, that's why he says they take pursuit. How do they see that? I'm I'm assuming the suspicious call was from the neighbor across the street. Because they do have the video, they do have the 911 call of McMichael calling and saying that they were following. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and in there he said, we saw him on the camera. We see him. Like, we see him in there right now. How do they see that? We don't know? I don't know. Okay. Because the whole... So that's shady. Yeah. If they don't... Because they... I've asked Gene. He does not. They do not own the home that this young man no. stopped in. And no. he just stopped. He just stopped. In the video, I watched it too. Young man stops. We go in. We look in one room. We look in another room. We leave. Mm -hmm. And so when he leaves, he runs, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. He is not jogging. He is not. He is running. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then they see that. So they must be a neighbor to this house. Okay. So they see him. And so they say... Get in the pick em up truck. We're going to follow him and citizens arrest him, correct? Correct. So far? Keep in mind, Gregory McMichael mm -hmm. is a retired police officer. Policeman, yes. So okay. he thinks he is above the law in this but neighborhood. You also wonder, he knows policy. Yes. And yes. he should be of training. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I, from what <laughs> I understand, the, the dad obviously is older. Mm -hmm. So 65. son is going to be the one who does the citizens arrest. Yes. Correct. He obviously is a daddy's boy. We've got to come from a neighborhood, the whole spill. So he gets out, I'm assuming, to try to apprehend mm -hmm. a young man. 
Save the day. And young man says, get the fuck back. And we start fighting. Correct. 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 And in this altercation where now this man, this adult man is watching his son, whether there is racial in there or not, mm -hmm. his son is getting beaten up. He is losing the fight. It, what I saw, the son was not winning. A any mom sorts was of getting away from him. Yes. Yeah. He was, you know. Good. So if you have a gun, he shot him. him. Yeah. Three times. Correct. Yeah. One gun, three times. Is so that what, what I does understand? detain mean? For a citizen's arrest, but what he does didn't, detain mean? He didn't detain. It went from detaining to a fight. That's the thing. That's where we change. Mm -hmm. We change now. Now he's being aggressive with us. They see it as we, as citizens watch of this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We see you. We just want to ask you some questions in our racial whatever way. You know, we don't know what was said. We don't know what happens when we pop out of the truck, do we? Correct. We don't. No. So we don't know when he gets out of the truck, if he just says politely, hey, young sir, what were you doing in the home? And Ahmad flips the fuck out. We don't know. Or is Maybe, it yeah. he hops out and he's like, hey, motherfucker, what the fuck were you doing in the house? Let's fight. Because there's no option. We don't know. Yeah. So we are going off of what dad says. And dad's scared. Yeah. Correct? And so dad shoots him. Because dad is in fear. Then, But why was he in fear? Because now his son is getting beat up. I don't believe so. But that's what dad sees. Was there a machete? Because the son had a motherfucking shotgun. Dad so had a dad 45. had a weapon. Yeah, he had the 45 okay. cal. And then... Wait, how is it, how are you fighting with a shotgun in your hand, though? You don't fight with a shotgun in your hand. I know. But he was only shot once with one gun, correct? One bullet? Or is there a shotgun blast to this young man? He had a shotgun blast. He did? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And where do we know the location of the shotgun blast? Do we know? There was um, a deep to shot front. from his wrist, so like a smaller bullet, mm -hmm. which dug in into the tendons of his wrist and then he was shot in the chest and that was obvious and you know gunshots i mean mm -hmm. they, they those that don't was this young man shot in the back no it was in his chest he, Ooh, he saw unfortunately he unfortunately saw though he did not that have helps a gun the self though. that helps the self-defense though no, bullshit. he that did helps not it, have though. a machete he did not gene, have a weapon gene it doesn't matter he was fighting him this lucky citizen which i don't believe he is a lucky citizen at all who just magically turned on his cellular device at mm -hmm. the right time mm -hmm. what he captures is someone getting beaten up and the father shooting that man and if there is a shotgun blast to the chest that tells me he wasn't leaving me mm -hmm. when i shot him and i was scared he was in front of me he did not have his back to me. I was still in fear. Mm -hmm. That's what tells the jury. But there was a separated distance. That's what tells the jury, though. It was though. a separated distance. But we, we don't know. on top of him choking it doesn't him out. Know. It doesn't matter. Because we don't know what they're going to say is being said. Yes, mm -hmm. he may have been back from him. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what they're claiming Ahmad was saying. But in Ahmad's shoot. Yeah, in a, you it's have, fucked up. You yeah. have two two people. Oh, for sure. So for flight with or, two guns at fight you. or flight. Yeah, you're leaving. You know what I'm saying? Well, like yes, I you're see. You're gonna do it. what you can to get out of that fucking mm -hmm. situation. And obviously, he wasn't backing down because mm -hmm. he was fighting in this scenario that we're talking about. He was. Mm -hmm. I do see him swing at him. You know, there is a fight. Mm -hmm. So he is fighting. Mm -hmm. He is not just like getting away and leaving the situation. Mm -hmm. See, that's where the jury is going to be like, well, why wasn't he? And that's when we get to play, well, they get to play the card of... Self-defense. You, Yeah, he was, he was still threatening me. He is still verbally threatening me. And I pulled out, I pulled up the shotgun after the fight and he gets away. No, he had the I shotgun the doesn't whole matter. time. You don't know that. But he says, he gets away from me. He swings at me. He backs up. I pull up my gun. Mm -hmm. He's still talking shit. My daddy fucking shot him. My daddy didn't get him. My daddy got him in the wrist. I fucking defended myself. I, That's what's going to happen in this. Unfortunately, I'll predict it like the Super I Bowl. Don't, I don't I don't. think so. Will they win? I, I don't know. I don't know. Because don't what? Know. from what I understand, it's fucked up for mm -hmm. this young man. Well, citizens arrest. I, I mean, I still... So is your I problem with the citizens... With is it the citizens arrest 
part that's bothering you? No, they crossed the line by shooting him. Well, yeah, obviously. Obviously, that's... You know, and... and obviously. They didn't witness... The so-called robbery. The McMichaels did not witness... The so-called robbery, or whatever. Yeah, the so-called robbery. Mm -hmm. Even though the homeowner has put out... Like I said, he didn't see his own video surveillance. Because you don't sit there like a creeper and watch the camera the whole no, goddamn no, time. No, no, So no. he didn't watch Cats it until set the after shit, the, that shit off. Yeah, you don't... Yeah. You know, and the reason why I touch base with that particular thing, because... Mm -hmm. The police officer that called Ahmad's mother mm -hmm. said the homeowner shot Ahmad in the street. Okay, that's what I heard. When I first heard of this, that's what I heard, is a homeowner mm -hmm. shot him. So. And Larry English never even reported. He was never even in the he area. He never reported a robbery because there was nothing okay. to report. Okay. Um, he made a statement that many people have been in there before and he has seen Ahmad in there before and they get drinks of water. Okay. So in people my stop saying, there knowing it's empty just to... Yeah. Okay. I mean, in... in and Ahmad in, is not the only person caught on camera doing this. I'm, I'm not saying that it's the right thing to do to go to some onto somebody's property and get mm -hmm. a drink of water. But I'm just pointing out... You don't need to die the, over it. The homeowner was aware of people doing this. So it's a common thing. People yeah. do know... Okay, so it's not... The worst thing that, in the world. That, that's where I'm confused because if so the is, how is it racial really though? He would have he would have shut the door. Okay, but how is this a modern day lynching because he's black and they're white? Uh huh. He was in a more white predominantly neighborhood on his run. That okay. was a part of his two mile run. Does he live in the neighborhood? No. Where does he live? Uh -huh. Do we drive to this neighborhood to jog? Mm -mm. No, he jogs to it. He jogs from his home around, around the neighborhood. So he lives mm -hmm. in the area. He lives in the area. Just not on the block. Yeah, it's like Stony Brook or something, you know. Well, Stony Brook and Bel Air aren't nowhere fucking near each other. So this man is not from Yeah. beneath means. But he did. He ran there. He didn't, because he didn't have anything. And this, it, we have he proven have this is a normal run. This is... Everybody knows we, in the morning we see him, we're like, I'm on. It's his daily route. We it's see him every day. Routine. Every day. Yeah. His mom, okay. told, his mom was okay. able to tell the, the routine thing. Oh, and his so, mom knew it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. So really you just have two white dudes on a fucking power trip that patrolled their neighborhood. Is, I don't consider this a modern day lynching though. How is that? How is, how is it a modern day lynching? Because of the way that they lynching? chased him and hunted him. They followed him in the pickup. But we don't see that on camera. No, we don't see that on camera. We don't until, see that until, until the, this amazing the citizen. Citizen who is now actually on May 24th. Oh yeah, she told me this shit too. This blew my mind. Go on, sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Guy in the car. We're talking about lucky citizen. <laughs> he is arrested now. He's in the Glen County Jail as of May 21st. Uh, William Roddy Bryan Jr., who's 50. Ooh. He's charged with felony murder and criminal attempt to commit false imprisonment. Oh, damn. Um, and that stems from the February 23rd shooting and death. Um, and so he was trying to say, oh, I just drove up on it and I saw, saw some, something was going on. Mm -hmm. And so I started to record it. And people say that he's a nice My guy. My mom's not even that fucking old and it takes her longer than a couple of seconds to turn her camera on. And I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. And for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, these are people that have never met. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. For them to be like, you know what, something's fucked up, and you are connected. Hmm. Because well, look, they, I don't believe hunted, he's lucky anyway. This, I mean, it, okay. So that's why it's a lynching is because we hunted him down. Yeah. Oh, and I was correct actually. April 29th, Glen County um, Police Department requested that GPI. Oh, G. The the Georgia Bureau of Investigation investigate death threats that have been made to Glen County Police Departments and the individuals involved. Um, because once everybody figured out what happened and the video was But released, we haven't figured out what happened. No. So every, we're just, once everybody started assuming what happened, we, yeah. we took it from our there. It's basically the, the family's lawyer. Because as okay. a mom to just be, be told Is it that, a, the lawyer or the advocate? The family advocate or the family lawyer? Family There's two lawyer. different th two different things. Yeah. What do they have a lawyer for? 
Because the dude's facing felony murder charges. All three of them now. Well, I'm talking about Ahmad's family. You said they have a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Why? Probably to help them through this Isn't whole the process. Prosecution is supposed to be their lawyer. Why do they need a lawyer? Because there's a whole bunch of, you know. And we don't know what Ahmad's previous and... crimes were. No. So. Do we know if he's ever committed he a crime in that area record. before? I don't know that. No. Have the father and son ever been involved with Ahmad before? Um, I guess the father was involved on a previous case. So dad not, knew him. It did not say what that case was. Oh, okay. You know, now, okay. everybody okay. can be an asshole, and then when you're making plans... Well, no, everybody can be... From what I understand, this is a very good young man. Well, yeah. Okay? I mean, I mean you can still do fucking dumb shit and be mm -hmm. a good man. You still have those young nights of getting wild and crazy and stupid shit happens. Been there. And the latest robbery in that neighborhood was reported... In front of their home, prior. though. Yeah. Seven and it was, and they prior. they claim seven weeks before a young black man robbed them. Correct. I don't know. Okay, that's just what the it news says thing the car, said. Yeah. So the car, the the gun was stolen out of an the unlocked. car. The the gun was stolen out of a car that was parked Who in the front of their fuck house. Keeps a gun in their car. It's unlocked. Georgia. It's fine. Well, like that, I get it. Like have <laughs> your gun, but like, why is your fucking car unlocked? Obviously, you're gonna get robbed. I don't always lock my car. <laughs> well, now you're going to get robbed, and you will. <laughs> That's not, you know. But, so, uh, the first DA, Jackie Johnson, mm -hmm. had to recuse herself, and then she also turned around. But because she's and, friends with the dad, correct? Yeah, everybody's okay. worked with her. Yeah, everybody's been friends with dad. Okay. Um, and then she also said that if the Glynn County Police mm -hmm. Department bears responsibility for what unfolded. Mm -hmm. um, it is unable to make probable cause determination on its own. Then why do we have a police department? Let me read that again. So the Jackie Johnson mm -hmm. and she had to recuse herself. Mm -hmm. She says that Glenn County Police Department bears responsibility. If Glenn County Police Department are unable to make probable cause determination on its own, why do we have a police department? Yeah. An attempt to make excuses and ignore problems at Glen County Police Department for they are ultimately responsible. Further, no district attorney in this office directed any Glen County Police officer not to make an arrest. No. So they're trying to... They're doing the right... Cases. No, it's the right thing because she's right. Yeah. She does not get paid to arrest people. Mm-hmm. She gets paid to put people in jail yeah. after they've been arrested from what the cops believe is a crime. Yeah. So these police at the time felt that father and son are just. And that may just be because dad is friends, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and why make that statement to the mom at all? Because that's what they thought he was doing. That's what they told the cops he was doing. But the homeowner wasn't the one that... It doesn't matter. The homeowner is not a citizen. Watch. Yeah. These motherfuckers are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and that's why they've they've turned it over. Um, in the, and then who's the, the second one? Who's the second one who turned away? Um, the Glen County, or not Glen County. And they are friends. Waycross County. And we're um, friends too? The, yeah, they were friends Oh, we're friends too. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're not friends with the new? No. No, we, that's the third DA now and involved. And so that's why he's like, okay, I must put you in jail. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. Okay. Because once they took over May 5th. So um, this month, they went to jail this month? Yeah, May May okay. 7th, GBI, that's okay. Georgia Bureau of Investigation. So on a Thursday. They arrested Gregory and Travis McMichael, charged him with murder and aggravated assault. Um, mm -hmm. And then on May 9th, they mm -hmm. further reviewed um, footage, probably okay. the, secure, or the, the construction house. Okay. Um, they've been reviewing since the, the very beginning when this case was directed over to them and before they even started making arrests because obviously they don't want to fuck up on this now. Mm -hmm. It's the third, third DA office involved in this. Uh, May 14th, GBI investigates a note turned in. Uh, there were no connections to that murder. I guess they thought it was a tip of some kind, but it was basically just kind of condolences. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um... On May 20th, they executed a search warrant of Gregory and McMichael's home. On Wednesday. Um, as part of the murder investigation. Um, and then May 21st, GBI 
arrested William Roddy Bryan. And that is our lucky surveil civilian that was just lucky enough to turn on his phone at 50 years old, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and so I believe the current DA of Cobb County um, is Joy Holmes. And so, because... Now the ball card's in Mr. Holmes' hands, or yeah. Mrs. Holmes' hands. Because <laughs> the GBI has to work with some kind of DA's office, which makes sense. But this is also, it's sparking also, <sighs> when it goes to the grand jury, because, by the way, the grand jury is closed until after June, because mm -hmm. each state is in this federal emergency thing where yeah. they're not going to hear any cases. Even yeah. if you're, even if you're Miss Lori Vallow. Because of the COVID. They COVAs. don't want to hear you. Yes, because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that is going to spark calls for the, the, um, open carry and stand your ground laws, because that's what the defense for the McMichaels is really going to go off of. Well, yeah. But the point is that it wasn't a citizen's arrest because they went beyond that point. They the situation thought, well, they turned beyond that point, though. Yeah. yeah. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Mm -hmm. There is a point where you don't detain somebody with a goddamn shotgun shell in their chest. You're killing that man. Okay, but there's also a point in time where... And I, I will forever disagree with you. Ma did not that's have fine. a I'm gun not, or no, a No, I'm not saying it was just that he died. I'm not saying that. I'm not. Yeah. What I'm saying is I'm looking through their lawyer's eyes. Yeah. Okay, that's where I'm coming from. I'm coming from this young man was an athlete. Mm -hmm. He was running at the time. Once he broke free of my client, yeah, this young man should have been able to make it to a safe destination. Yeah. But this young man did not. But what if he was afraid he'd get shot in the back? That's a chance he should have taken, man. If he was really afraid and wanted to get away from that situation, that is a chance he would have taken. Mm. That's why this, that's why I love true crime. Because yes, this is fucked up. Uh -huh. This young man who was going to college had a plan. All that type of shit had no reason to die. Yeah. No two men should have ever thought they had the reason to come kill him or chase him down mm -hmm. or anything like that. But unfortunately, as fucked up as it is, things may just not happen. You have to look at the world. Look at Casey Anthony. Yeah. Who else fucking killed that kid? Who else in a million fucking years killed that goddamn kid? Mm -hmm. Her goddamn mom did. Mm-hmm. Did 12 people agree about that? No. They did not. Yeah. So unfortunately, what we have here is a very sad case of a young life being taken by two men who obviously thought they were above the law in their own neighborhood. So you think McMichaels are going to walk? Probably. Because what you have... Well, I don't know. Because the new guy obviously has no connection. So maybe... Maybe, but if, from my understanding of down south and their gun rights and how they uh, oh, it's like love a, oh, gun, yeah. them gun rights, yeah. yes, ma'am. Good old boys. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my son was in danger, ma'am. You know what I mean? And it's not racial. I don't think this is racial because I think even if there was a young white man running away from this house, mm -hmm. these two men who thought they were above themselves mm -hmm. would have taken action. It's time to save the day and place. I home. just think, unfortunately, Ahmad happened to be the guy they had the hair up their ass that day. I think. I don't know. Like I said, in one... You guys must remember, I do not know anything about this. I've never looked into it. The minute she mentioned it, I stopped caring about anything because <laughs> I wanted to hear it from her and what happened. Because we do this shit. So. <laughs> but, okay, so it just, I don't understand the time, though. Because. What do you mean? For Between any action. 72 mm -hmm. days. Yeah. Well, because who, why? We have to prove it. We cannot arrest him right then and there. Okay, but that's plenty of times. Because this, these, these, these this decent office. person, this decent person, ma'am, who was right here, right here mm -hmm. when the incident happened, he was quick with it. He captured on video what we needed to see. But we saw a man being attacked. In the aspect of the DA office and how procedures go, okay, they should have recognized. Should have, could have, would have. This man. Is that what you said? 
Should have, could have, would have. I know, I uh -huh. know. But then immediately took it to another DA. That's not, not how it goes, waited though. and waited and waited. Yes, it is because we watched it with Miss Miss Vallow. Miss Vallow is different. That judge recused himself, and where's the judge? He the did not recuse from? himself. Well, he was asked. He was asked to get to the step fuck down, back, and they brought lady in from Idaho Falls. Yeah, that's di that's different completely county. different though. That is completely different. She played the fucking woman card of this guy is mean. He is going to be mean because I am a mom and it involves my children. But they brought she pulled else a different in, shit in from though. a different county. They moved. This is a friend. Different... This is a friend. We've probably had fucking barbecues together. We've celebrated holidays. On your birthday, I tell you happy birthday. That is mm -hmm. different. What happened with Lori Vallow is she just wants to make sure everybody fucking feels bad for her dumbass. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. So this is different though. Yeah. This brings in Having number one problem in America. Yeah. Gun rights is what this brings in. And what they're going to spin this on is that this father saw the opportunity. He shot this young man and he gave his son the opportunity to defend himself. Okay. How the hell did he get in the back of that pickup and get into a hunting stance? Because that is a common if hunting stance. If he's in the fuck for the... He's driving oh, the truck, shit. motherfucker. You watched Joe Dirt? You watched Joe Dirt? Joe Dirt has told me my whole life everybody in the South rides around in the back of them pickup trucks. That is not going to ride doesn't around matter. in the back. It doesn't matter. They he think they are in pursuit. Got out yeah. To Dad hunt. thinks. Yes. Dad says, son, you drive... I'll fucking stand up here if anything pops off. I got you, son. Yeah. Daddy stood ground. You know what I mean? There's a hundred ways to flip this. It doesn't matter, though, because this poor young man died. Yeah. He's still dead. He's still dead. Mm hmm A poor life was taken. Mm hmm Now it is just up for the good old fucking amazing world of the judicial system, <laughs> which is the most fucked up system in America. Yeah. Most fucked up in America. Mm -hmm. So it's their time to play out what they like to do as their Broadway performances. And just see what fucking hooks. Well, and the... But gun rights, dude, I'm telling you, gun rights is a different thing. That's a whole different animal. When you bring in gun rights, to me, in my eyes, it trumps racial any day. Mm -hmm. Black, white, blue, purple, or green. You want to fucking bear arms, bro. Well, gun rights is... that's part of our constitution exactly part, not a piece it's no it's a main part absolutely our founders agreed <laughs> you have the right no matter what your situation you have the right to defend yourself it is up to the law to say why you were wrong not up to you yeah you get to bear arms at any point in fucking time I could shoot you right now and flip the whole <laughs> script and be like, shit, we were chilling in my room. She fucking got crazed. I shot her. Oops. And they'll be like, okay. I'm glad you defended yourself. Yeah. Good on you. Yeah. Is it because we're two white girls? Fuck, who knows? We can't play the cards on that. Mm-hmm. Well, we'd just be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> white, yellow, purple, or blue. Yeah. So... I just don't understand why everything has to be a race thing because what does that ever actually do? It divides us. Mm -hmm. It divides us and it takes us back to where it is. It's you're black, I'm white. You're a Mexican, I'm white. Mm -hmm. You're Indian, I'm white. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what skin color you are. Yeah. I could give two shits less. You're a person. Mm -hmm. You bleed like I bleed. You're loved like I'm loved. There's the same pieces of yeah. shit in every single Yeah. Place. It doesn't matter. No fucking, no you people deserve purple. to kill you. And that's asshole. the moral of the story. Yeah. So unfortunately, yes, this young man did pass. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, will he be given justice? Yes. By all three corrupt motherfuckers. Because that ain't no fucking lucky citizen. Well, and his attorneys, I, I mean, the attorneys and I think the N NAACP has shown up to, to help out because it's... You know, what's they, the what's they, the they guns the AR? Well, oh, that's ARP. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, that's like, the NRA. Yeah, the NRA. Yeah. I'm like the NRP, yeah. the old well, people. In Georgia, they got those. Well, yeah. See, it's, and then they're gonna is, come it in. Is an, it is an issue because I have lived in. I've lived in Florida, and it's easy for us to say that 
as as Yankees up here. But down no, see, south, it honestly, appeared... it really is still an issue today. Races, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. On, oh, yes. On, on the forefront of people. Oh, yes. And Everything. And, oh, and yeah. conversations were, I would be awkward. I would be like, what the fuck? Okay. I've had why? people ask me, people that are like, why don't you care about their races? I did a case once and the chick's like, no, she was a black mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. She was, but was she a person? Yeah. Does she want to be remembered as just the black mom or a fucking person? My hands are, she wants to be known as a person. Absolutely. She doesn't want to be identified and put into a box of, oh, black mom. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't do it. I don't do it. Like, I'm not, I don't care about your race. I'll tell your story. You yeah. still need your story to be heard. But unfortunately, there are people that live that way. But honestly, dude, it's where you come from. Here in Idaho Falls, as bad as it must be to say, sometimes... You see a black person and you're fucking amazed. Like, and I'm not saying that to be racist. <laughs> like, just... I grew up with my friend Shanisa. Uh-huh. And I literally, for the longest time, thought her family was the only black family in this whole town. And every person I saw absolutely. was related to her. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's no fault of mine. No. That's just what I thought. But this, in our particular area. Of yeah. Eastern Idaho. So you can't blame me because it's where I come from. Mm-hmm. They come from Georgia. I ain't going to speak on Georgia law, honey. I don't. Oh, hell no. Yeah. I know Idaho law. And in Idaho law, I'm going to tell you right now that dad saw his son being beaten up. And they're going to look at him like, daddy saved my life. Unfortunately. So, I mean, I'm not racist by any means. Yeah. And it sucks. It really does. But there's white men that get shot by cops and... They chop it up to he's a white crackhead. Mm -hmm. Do all the race this... is everywhere. Race is everywhere. It doesn't matter. She was a white prostitute that did drugs. Uh -huh. They still classify you. No matter what your skin color is, at the end of the day, you're still in a box. You, Jean, me, Sean Marie, are still two white women mm -hmm. that just go about it. Does that does that matter? No. Do we have different problems than other people? You betcha. Yeah. Are their problems probably more and their lives more affected because of the fact that they are black? Yeah. That's not my fault, though. Mm -hmm. I won't take America's hate because you want to, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, that. that's not what I do. No. So, please, everyone, do take that out of this conversation because I do understand that I sound like I'm like, oh, white guys had the right. They didn't. But. You see where the jury's. I see from. where they're going to come from. Yeah. I see the card that's going to be played. I just see the whole thing was absolutely. Unjust un and unnecessary. I mean, all they had to do, especially if homie behind him was, was mm -hmm. involved. You can't corner him in. And then if he runs away. Well, that's going to be, I guess I should do their their argument. I'll do the state's away, argument, too. Then he runs away. You tell the cops which direction he went because you're no longer a police officer. And you're that's, retired. And the state and can say, that. sir, you know the law. And that's what they will say. At the end of the day, Mr. Whatever the fuck, you know. Mm -hmm. You know better. But at the end of the day, daddy didn't make a lethal shot. Mm-mm. It was shotguns. Dad's hands up. Dad's like, hey, <laughs> I just made the shot that gave my son the opportunity to do what he felt. And he, son, is saying, I'm big. I'm winded. Have you I just got in an altercation. Before? No. That's, dude, I, see, gun rights in me, we don't know. Have, when you have a gun in your hand, now I have not shot at somebody or tried to kill anybody. Well, I assume pulling the trigger but, is still the same. It's a whole process. Even if you're raised with guns and mm -hmm. used to guns, once you put that loaded firearm in your hands and you take the safety off <coughs> as an adult and even as a 10-year-old kid, mm -hmm. something clicks in your brain that says, okay, serious. this this is okay. serious now. This okay. isn't a fucking... I believe that. Anymore. My anxiety tells me that would be true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're hyper aware of what you're doing where you're aiming that just furthers their defense i hope you know that 
you just furthered their defense. No, because, because he was no, walking away. It doesn't matter. He was walking away. No, he wasn't. He would have been shot in the back. I believe it. If he was walking away, <coughs> you don't get shot in your chest. Let me see if I can find out. Hang on. Tell me how he, yeah, he tell knows. me that. Because what they're going to say is, yes, he did have every opportunity in the world to leave the situation. Mm-hmm. He didn't. From what they're going to say is this young man stood there toe to toe with me, six feet fucking apart, whatever the distance, and threatened me. He lunged at me. I shot. I didn't give so him an opportunity. I can. You can kill me if I threaten you. Yeah. Because I've 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 threatened you a few times and you've never killed me. Not in a once. situation where I am winded and we just got in an altercation, <laughs> you fucking just swung at me. Yeah. You backed away from me. You're, you're still talking shit. You're not gonna get your Doesn't rifle. Doesn't matter. You're talking shit to me. The only thing I have on me to defend myself is my gun. My amendment. Yeah. Ma'am is sitting next to me and I felt threatened. End of story. End of story. If you were running away from me, I would have shot you in your back. This is why I brought this to you. I so a, I had I, 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 I am sure how you would get away. I'm gonna to this be <laughs> cautious on seeing how they go about this. Yeah. To be honest. Just because of that. Now, I'm not saying that he didn't turn his back and then that guy for all we know, the cussed N-word was brought up. We don't know. Yeah. He could have been walking away and then son's like, hey, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And he turned around to go, what, bitch? And got shot. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, both sides could. Dude, we don't know. If they are asking if anyone has any other information, the GBI put all of their information out there real fast. Uh, or... Yeah, it's 1-800-597-TIPS, and there's also a website, www. And it's confidential, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dot gbi dot ga dot gov slash submit tips online. Bam. So hopefully this young man they gets justice. Yes. Because obviously they are in a hard spot. If they're asking for help, they want to do right. But they just don't see right being done. Yeah. And like I said, dude, it's not because... I just don't find it because of race. I don't... And like everybody likes to say, KC Anthony got off because she was white. I don't see that. Yeah. It is... N it's up to 12 people. Well, and that's... That's... that's Some people do have that perception of things because I also read... I, and I didn't write down the exact details, but I was what I was telling you. It's, it's It was like two years from when that other black kid that just had his backpack was shot and killed i can't remember if that was brunswick georgia or not but that was on the news and media this this case is all about race as I and said, that's it's, horrible it's a it's a modern day lynching for me i guess i just that would my make feelings me... got hurt when i read his this story my feelings got hurt because 25 yeah 25? But you know what this does? If they turn it into a racial thing, it makes the the white people like you not able to give your condolences. Because you are going to fail. Because you are white, you cannot connect to that mother. And you Ugh. must stay back. No. That's why this shit shouldn't happen. Because yeah. now it's going to be our black community. Yeah, It should be our community. Our community not just our black community. Yeah. It's our community because we should look out for one another exactly like you and i were arguing about earlier about minding your own damn business but mm -hmm. it, it, you've also heard that phrase where it takes a village to raise a kid sometimes you gotta kick your kids out of here dude unfortunately to vacuum you know it's <laughs> like good neighborhoods and good areas are out there okay yes. and like what she's talking about is like she in her head, I want thought, everyone to sing and get along. She thought she does. She wants the troll's life where we're all fucking Rainbow. happy and just singing and we fart glitter and everything's great. <laughs> but like she thought my incident with my ankle happened at nighttime. Okay. Where none of my neighbors could have assisted. Okay. But little did she know when she found out to date, my neighbors were outside. I had 
three neighbors outside when I fell and was screaming like a fucking stuffed pig for my husband to come and assist me. I was taking that help I fall and I can't get up commercial to a whole new fucking extent, y'all. I was ridiculous. If you were on my street, I would And not one of my neighbors came over because in my neighborhood where I live, you mind your own fucking business. They've seen me on crutches. They've seen me hobbling at my house. Not one of them have put their hands up and been like, hey, bitch, you good? No. Never you mind you your fucking business. The no. They watch me carry my groceries in on With crutches. crutches. They don't give a fuck, dude. Uh, my neighborhood is a mind your business neighborhood. See, and my neighbor walked over one time in her church shoes on Sunday and helped me shovel the snow. See, and, we'll and you and come from like, a new neighborhood, and she lives 10 minutes room? away. Three. Well, three minutes away. So, like, that's the world, man. Yeah. Like, you, if you go outside of my house right now, Jeannie, and you're like, help me. And all my neighbors are going to be like, that chick needs help. You know where you mess, messed up? What? You yell fire. No, I scream, help, motherfucker. My leg is gone. <laughs> that's what I did. I said, help. Help me. Loud as that, just screaming. <coughs> and even my husband was like, what the fuck? Did you die? And I'm like, I think so. Yeah. Like, it was traumatic. No, that is a traumatic. If you would have hit. And none would've... of them. The you dude, important dude, dude, dude across there, the street baby. just flipped his cigarette butt. Tink, and went inside. And I'm like, bye, that bitch. Way. That guy. Yeah, and I'm like, mm, help. Like, that's just my neighborhood. And in this neighborhood... Two fucking dudes thought they ran it. You know? Sorry. Well. Bye. I, I like my neighborhood. We communicate. So, sometimes. yeah, y'all. This is how me and Jean discuss cases before we censor them. But like I told you guys, we I'm really censor done cases, censoring we? it. Okay. Well, like, no, what I mean is, like, people don't ever want to say something negative about the person who has passed. Yeah. Every podcast always tips around that. Even when they talk about guys, notorious people, mm -hmm. they still want to be like, oh, let's not hurt anybody's feelings. Mm -hmm. If you, if my feeling, if what I say hurts your feelings, fucking click to the next channel. See. You know? Yeah. So, like, I'm done doing that. Like, I really want to know you why. You please everybody. No. And, and I, I've, I've, I've missed you. I've enjoyed today. Good, I'm glad. So See, like, and I was kind of hoping that you would be, you would have that same outrage, and I know Jeremy all about it, and he's just blinking at me, and because Jeremy comes where I come from. <laughs> we do when you live. I'm not gonna say it, a terrible life, but when you live an unjust, a hard knock See? life. When you live the life where you got fucking milk, but you ain't got no cereal. You got peanut butter, but you ain't got no bread. When you live that life where you have to fucking piece your shit together and mm -hmm. you count on your survival, you look at shit like this and you're like, damn, that sucks. That really sucks. But you know those dudes are going to get off, right? I don't know. That's why the, the conversation. Heck he in the construction that's it, house. though. Like that's how that's how that in. conversation goes. Is like, oh, damn. And I honestly didn't even know this dude was black. So like, all up in, everything I heard, I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. So I'm I've sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, because like I said, I get so caught up in podcast land where I just stick to mm -hmm. ID channel, Hulu, Netflix, and I just fucking, you know, mm -hmm. I just stay in my lane. And all my media feed is other podcasts. So until another podcast is like, ah! And I skim through their shit, I never know. Yeah. And I have been saving my podcast to go back to work. Okay. So it's not like I'm up to date on podcasts either. Yeah. And for all I know, they already have covered it. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. I just stay in my own little bubble, so I didn't know anything about this. And so it's... Well, good. It's tragic, and it's horrible. Yeah. And, okay, so man who... Re okay, I see the guy who recorded from the vehicle right now. I'm looking at him right now, because mm -hmm. he's on the bottom video. He is a white man. So 
I see why we're getting racial. We got three against one. That ain't fucking fur. So. I would be terrified if I was followed by three. You men, bet your sweet three ass. Three men with guns. You bet your sweet ass. Stop, but if move. I'm running, but if you're this me. young man, dude, he, I guarantee you, this young man did not sit there and say, "I'm black man against this." Mm -hmm. No, he's like, "I'm a fucking dude, and I have every right to run on this goddamn street." Yeah. Like, That's he you. doesn't sit there and be like, oh, they're going to shoot me, and it's fucking 19 fucking 50, and I'm going to get killed because I'm black. Mm -hmm. No. He's like, no, fuck you, white boy. I got I can run, too. Mm -hmm. Why, like, why does it have to be so racial? Yeah. This poor young man just... Lost his life. He probably stood up for himself and lost his life. Yeah. And that's the story that needs to be told. Yeah. Is what did Ahmad think and feel at that point in time especially with his personality that if he, of, yeah. that, and that all you're getting blasted with himself. is the fact that two white guys yeah killed him his story is getting lost under the all cloud the of racism racism yeah and it's fucked up well and I, so. i'm not i'm not really one to say how people should change their gun laws mm-hmm you know, mm -hmm. the, I think when it goes to grand jury, that is going to affect probably some gun laws. Oh, yeah. No. Um, it won't affect shit. But, I, think uh -huh. that's up, I think that's up to every state because I do understand the yeah. right to defend yourself and the right to, to bear arms. But exactly. It just messes. He it, wasn't it fucks up. Nobody. It messes everything he up. He was jogging. I know, but now you got to play mind reader, dude. Now it's all about the mind, and unfortunately, one mind survived this. Yeah. And now it's, what does he say? This young man doesn't have a chance now. Mm -hmm. His last moments caught on video was him being aggressive to this other young man. Yeah. That's all we got. So. That is life. That is life. Ugh. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Sorry and we will it. just have to watch what happens, and hopefully... Yeah. We can all pray that he gets justice yeah. because it's not right. And these men are killers and they did shoot an innocent man for no apparent fucking reason. But that's what we think. It's just scary to think that just because they think you're doing something bad. That they have a right to kill you. And that's mm -hmm. the scary part about the fucking world, dude. But it's true. It's you're true. At the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. time. Unfortunately, Life. dude, that's just, you stumble upon shit, and I've always believed that your book's been written, bro. When it's your time, it's your time. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, even though the rest of us look at it and we're like, it's unfair, it's unjust, because it is, it's the way it fucking happened. There's no reverse button. Get mad, get upset, but in the long run... What is all that anger going to do? Except for cause more fucking problems. Fester. Yeah. That's all it does. That's all anger does. Is it fucking festers and it makes the situation a million times worse. Yeah. When really it's you, everybody, you love everybody. Everybody needs to realize. And they're not giving this neighborhood a chance to speak out. From what I understand, this neighborhood has not had their opportunity to say whether or not they thought that that was a threatening action. Yeah. So we don't know. If this is a neighborhood full of old white people, mm -hmm. they have different views, man. Mm -hmm. They come from a different time. Different Unfortunately, you know? we don't know. So amen to him and fucking r.i.p because that's sad shit yeah. no one deserves that shit especially when you're doing from what you think is your daily routine yeah and you've done it a million times and just this one day you stumble across these two fucking jerk offs so i don't know it's horrible mm -hmm. and i think we have a complex here of just two white dudes who thought they have ran shit and they're everywhere the dude white power is dangerous oh well, Fuck, white power is dangerous. dangerous. But white power is dangerous, though, dude, because we come from a different background. Oh, with Nazis? With everything. Mm -hmm. With everything. We come from a different background because as white people, 
we don't advertise our slavery because we were slaves. Mm -hmm. White people were slaves too. The Irish slaves. We yeah. don't, but like we advertise that the white dream is the white picket fence and the fucking cute kids. Mm -hmm. And I can say my parents were not racist. Mm -hmm. By any means were my parents racist. Yeah, my family wasn't either. So I didn't grow up with racism. Yeah. That's absolutely different when you do grow up yeah. with racism. Like, I can't imagine. I don't know what that world is like. And that's maybe why I am so jaded to why this is a racial thing. Mm -hmm. And it could be my own naiveness. Oh, you're right. You're right. It shouldn't have been about that. It should but be like, about the story of a mom. Yeah. I yeah. come... Where I'm raised and I come from is it doesn't matter that he's black. And I'm not saying that to mm -hmm. be disrespectful by no. any means. You're, it just doesn't. It, but to me, it's like, oh, okay, why? Who they are. Yeah. Like, I don't go off of your skin color. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate to me that that's what this is. And I don't know. I don't know his background for all I know. He is one of those people that do stand up for the way that. The blacks are treated. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I these dudes are KKK people. You know what I him. mean? I don't know how mm -hmm. racist this family is. Are they even racist? Mm -hmm. Did they look at him and be like, white neighborhood, black guy, alert. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm like, not what? Agreeing. Why I'm not were sure. they? Were, why were they not home Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, and Sunday, and saw him run the same path? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is it truly the first time they've seen this young man running through this neighborhood? Probably not. Why that day was he supposedly threatening to them? Does it have to do with the fact that he truly is black? I really, truly pray not. But this or, world is fucked up. And, and yes, it does. I think and it was because he went in that gosh damn house. Maybe. He should not have. And racism is so very true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Automatically assumed. I'm not going to sit here and be like, racism doesn't exist. Only white people get hurt. It's a bunch of bullshit. And I know that. Yeah. So I'm just saying that, yes, this is unfair. Mm -hmm. This is fucked up. Yes, he is a black 20 what three Five. 25 year old young man with yep. dreams and yes his life was taken by two white men and a shady ass old white guy in a car <laughs> but is that really the whole story is that really what this fucking is going to come down to is three three white guys and one black guy i hope not because that's fucked up yeah it's no, I don't they, like they I don't like racial stories, dude. When it comes to race, I am the one person no one ever wants to argue. Like I don't like I love arguing with racist people. I do, mm -hmm. and I've met a million mm -hmm. because I do live in Idaho, and people need to realize that that are listening to this from other states. I live in Idaho. Yeah. I'm not saying Idaho is racist, but I'm just saying. They you know a, what I'm saying. Have a couple, yeah. We have some people, Aryan you Nation know, people. we have some Aryan Nation folk that are very proud of Which, their Idaho that's, that's, roots. That's your opinion. That's and that's fine. Opinion. Shit, just, if you listen yeah. to this and you're a racist, I don't want to fucking piss you off. <laughs> well, and I you have the right to be a racist. About, about racism either. Yeah. But you, you are absolutely right that that's, that's, how they, that's how they spin it. And it's just... That's how the media I was hurt for his this. mom immediately. Immediately. Out, you know... Even, dude, the fact is, Their this young, is just he wasn't he just, just a son. She hadn't even kicked him out of the house yet. He, he was wasn't just a son. Yeah. He wasn't. He, I don't know if he had siblings, but normally you're a son, you're a friend, mm -hmm. you're a cousin, you're an uncle. You have your roots, and that's what we have, I've been talking about on my past couple episodes. It's not just a mod that's affected and a mod's mom. Mm-hmm. Or just these two men who have been charged in this crime. Mm -hmm. Their families are suffering now. Oh, absolutely. Now they're being Death threats. fucking charged with what their family's done. Yep. That's not fair. Is their story being told? No, because it doesn't fucking matter. Mm -mm. According to the media, it doesn't matter because there's some white people and they'll get over their nonsense. That's absolutely... I, I, it's I, fucked up, dude, on every side. All, 
so much time and it all of these tell you the just the same story the same story. five different pages of the same exact meant. same story yeah. two white guys killed a black young man it took me two days to find out what high school he graduated from two white guys took a black man's life that is all anybody gives a fuck about Ugh. and that's horrible yeah race shouldn't matter and like i do have a bunch of different people who listen to this because mm -hmm. I do see the statistics and all that shit. Mm -hmm. But I'm so proud so of I you. Know. Good job. Like, yeah, I know. I know a lot of you are sitting there and you're like, I'm black. Girl, I fucking love you. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. And like, and you've heard me say that a million times and you've never gotten butter before, so don't fucking start now. But like, your life matters. Mm-hmm. Any it, life matters. Any life matters. And that's the thing. And when people do the whole, like, people like to argue with me when I say that. And you're, they're like, no, black lives matter. You don't understand how black lives matter. I do. I am not fucking blind yeah. to what they have gone through. Mm -hmm. And I am very sympathetic that mm -hmm. that is your, that's where you have come from. That is horrible. But you will not punish me. Personally. Personally. Mm -hmm. For what people I never even met fucking done. Yeah. You won't. Yeah. And I will not let you. Like, I'm. that's just not who I am. And I grew up with Shanisa. Mm -hmm. She and her family, fuck, we were thick of thieves back in the day. It didn't matter to us that she was black. Mm -hmm. I went to her church. She went to mine. We went to the same school. I was in the same school with a bunch of fucking Mexican kids. I didn't. That's where I lived. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. And you weren't even thinking about that. No, I didn't even care. My first boyfriend. My first boyfriend was cute and a Mexican and everything. He had a yes. cute little ponytail and we were in like fifth grade man detention. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't fucking oh, matter. No, he's looking at No. Me. And my parents weren't like. <gasps> Don't talk, talk to him. No. Yeah. My parents were like, oh, that's funny. I'm really that's happy funny. I was raised that way. I am too. I God bless it. Because I like the fact that I can look at this and just look at this and say that it's fucked up that this young man lost his life. And that a young life was lost and not care mainly about what his skin color was. Mm hmm So. Well, and honestly, I don't know. His... Applying to the whole thing is, is a process like applying to college. You can't, did you know that if you have a felony on your belt, you can't get um, certain grants yeah. and federal funding? Yeah. And so, but do you know me? Him being, you, him being involved in a case years back affects you. Affects you, yeah. But Everything if he affects was already you. enrolled to go to college the next fall, dude. Okay, but there's other grants because I'm... Yeah. Dude, you understand. Yes, that yeah, may be true. He stood up But and is wrong, he... You know. Unfortunately, dude, as where it's a fucked up world is, I could get a grant to go to college because my dad went to prison and I'm the first family in my family to... First person in my family to go to a legit college. Yeah. I would get a grant for that. Well, who did it? I would get a grant because my dad is who he is and committed the crime that he committed. Bam, you get a grant for that. You get the sympathy grant. He could have done the, I'm the first black man in my family to go yeah. and everything else. Everything in the fucking world, dude, comes down to the goddamn race card. Yep. And in school, when I was in school, they did the, it was like the Nazi learning day or whatever. I left, we were learning about Nazis and race. I just really remember the Nazis. I don't know why. But maybe it's because I have blue it's eyes. Like maybe it's because I have blue eyes and I was like, shit, I'm halfway legit. No. I just don't have blonde hair. <laughs> so, like, I was fucking worried about it for some reason. But um, they gave us, in the morning, you would go to school. And they would give you either a yellow button, a blue button, a green button, or a red button. Oh, I remember this. And above water fountains, it would have <laughs> a green button, mm -hmm. a red button, and same with every... And this was like a week of school. Mm-hmm. Where you could only sit where your button was allowed to sit. Mm -hmm. That was literally the worst week of school I've ever gone through in my life. I have never, and I remember that to this day because I was so sad. That, that was the point of the exercise. Yeah. I was so sad that I couldn't talk to other people. Mm -hmm. 
I can't go with them in that room because I'm not that button. Like, I want to be that fucking button. Mm-hmm. And in my school, it wasn't like all the fucking Mexican kids were a green button. No, like, it was no, random. It like was that. random. Yep. Like, yep. in my little society, I think it was like me and like you had to three Mexicans. How, and like, how you're doing yeah. That. Yep. And it was horrible. But that's the point of the exercise. But that's what we learned. Because it's morally wrong to do this. Morally. Absolutely. Horribly. Yeah. You're seriously losing. If anybody watches The Good Place, anybody who's judging the situation is losing fucking points, man. Mm-hmm. You're losing good points fast. Because it shouldn't matter. Mm-mm. And it's horrible. It was, well, it was, Racism I, pisses me the fuck off. It is the first thing that will like make me mad is come at me and be like oh it doesn't matter because he's black i'll fucking sock you in the throat (laughs) it doesn't matter because he what yeah that's like telling fucking somebody your kid don't matter because your kid fucking wears adidas are you playing me right now you find my fucking adidas dude yeah like fuck you I don't even know. The that's world the is just. Of the world, it's the we judge. Dude, and that's we the way judge it is. We assume that, and I openly call my own children hooligans. So you look down the street and you see some, and it happens to me all the time. And I live on a mm-hmm. cul-de-sac. Yeah. So it's like a point to walk by my house. Dude, my little. And I'll be like, who, who are you? Yeah. Are see, you I notice everything. Go like I think something's wrong with my neighbor right now because his daughter lives with him. And he's, like, really good about his grass and stuff. He hasn't been watering his grass. And I never see his daughter. But now she's the only one I see. But I saw, last time I saw him, he put up surveillance cameras. So I was like, ooh, he thinks something's going to happen to him. So, like, I I fucking (laughs) twisted this shit in my head 400 million ways. Right here. And the I'm Alfred like, Hitchcock movie, yeah, The Window? Yeah. yeah. And so I've already fucking determined that he's in the basement in cement. Here? Yeah. And she's done, moved on with life and got whatever. And she's just living. And my husband and my brother think I'm crazy. Well, take him cookies. No. I ain't going over there. No, it's just dead. to knock no, on the you. door and say hello. I, in my neighborhood, we yes. mind our own business. Well. We ain't about that life. I ain't knocking on nobody's fucking door for nothing. Someone stole my package once. It was fucking fish filters. <laughs> Everybody in my neighborhood fucking denied it. And then they fucking dropped it off in the middle of the night and were like, sorry, this got delivered to us. And we opened it. For what? Your fucking name ain't Eric. Sometimes you just automatically open it. The only decided. reason they returned my package is because it was fish filters. Trust and fucking believe if I had something in there that was worth a damn. Yeah. Never would have seen it. Yeah. So, God bless it, be fish, fish filters. Mm-hmm. So, that's just where I come from. You should just move over to my neighborhood. Yeah, I've my already made, made too no. many cinnamon rolls and tried to give some to the boys. No. They didn't answer the door because they're paranoid. Yeah, good boys. I wouldn't have, I texted I wouldn't have even them. let my kids I eat I told them. Dan. I wouldn't Are even let my kids. No. Are serious? I've known April no. since forever. See, that's different, though. I don't know these motherfuckers. Why the fuck are you bringing me food? It's normal over there. Not normal yeah. over here. No. Especially you bring it over here, I'm like, this bitch is trying to kill the neighborhood. No. She's... I ain't trying to fucking feed it to nobody. She's Mormon, so she bakes all the time. See? That's exactly what happens. That's... We are just... Do you want Yeah. Some... See, oh, I'm she, judging her. Zucchini bread. Don't care what race you are. Cookies. I automatically am going to think you're going to kill me. No, literally, she called. She was like, I made too many cinnamon rolls. You guys want some? How many? See, and the fact like, that my neighbor would have my number would Go be weird. There. Oh, no. Yeah, we have so... everybody's number on my street. See, no, we don't. We have Mr. Blank, who lives across the street, who's been here since they fucking put the houses up. Oh, cool. And he judges hard. Yeah. Hella racist, I believe, because he's made very comments to me that are not legit (laughs) about people in the neighborhood. And I'm like, he's been here forever. And the first day I moved over is the only day he's ever talked to me. He only came over to my house to be nosy. To get the feel of who the fuck we are. Once yeah. he got our names, our occupations, and saw that we had children, man's never said a damn thing since. Lived here for almost two years. Ain't said a damn thing. Has it been that long? No, almost a year. Sorry, oh I lied. God. Yeah, almost a year. So I like, helped you move. It and he hasn't like said that. a thing since. Huh. And I've seen him almost daily. So... He only came over here to tell us who we was so that he could tell everybody else who we was and go about it. And only three people are alive from the original neighborhood. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So if he does die, we're down to two. So in my neighborhood, 
that would have been weird. So, I don't know. It, everybody's different. It's a different perspective. Yeah. I hope you get to move to a neighborhood someday and you have a neighbor that I don't. makes too many cinnamon rolls. I don't. Like, I'm a nice person, but like, <laughs> I don't need to know you. Like, what are you going to do? Sometimes it comes in handy. Are you going to feed my guinea pig when I'm gone? Sometimes like, I'm, it comes I have in to handy. trust she you to come and when, feed my pig? She called me when there was a, a burglary going on in my house. Well, yeah, that shit's important. Yeah. She called me when my hooligans were up on the roof sun tanning, you know, at okay, 15, 16. So it comes in handy for know. them to have your phone number. Yeah, I'm not giving any of my neighbors my <laughs> phone number. I'm pretty sure that guy over there deals meth. So, not 100% on it. The old guy? No, not the old guy. Oh. The guy next to him. Because <laughs> I go to work at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I've taken the three months off. Yeah. I feel you not. I go to leave this morning. And this young man is out there still tinkering on the same truck that he's been working on for that good old eight months. Oh, I can actually. Yeah. I, I know exactly. Have you bought in meth is. from him? No. Oh. I know exactly who it is, though, and I'll explain later. So he does do so. meth. I'm almost 100% sure. A crazy lady was walking from that house to the park in the rainstorm. In a rainstorm. Mm -hmm. Meeting up with a car for five seconds and then leaving. And she did it all day, almost like clockwork. Do you know to where I could point it out to my husband and my brother. I'm like, no, let's check it out, check it out. This chick with a dog, she's going to run over here. She's going to pull up. They're going to leave, and she's going to go back to that house right there. And she did it like four or five times. I was like, mm-hmm. That Math. particular gentleman has gotten punched out in my bushes before. Oh. By my brother. Oh, so? Roots. Yeah. See? Small town. See? I know. My heart sunk when I saw that damn pickup. I was like, motherfucker. See? Oh. And damn it. So? I sit here and I judge my neighbors. Well, I know my neighborhood. Because your radar is on. That's because I'm paranoid. Yeah. No, your radar is <laughs> on. That's what that is. So, so yeah, this anyways, is a little bit of a longer one because we did our debate. Judges. We but just we judged just him. judged. Yeah. Yes. And I do. I freely admit it. And that's why I define talking shit differently. Confirmation and judgment is different. Different. Way. Yes, it is. And so is talking shit and state like i would say that to his face so i don't consider that to be talking shit if that young man ever came over to me at three o'clock in the morning wanting to, sell you meth. wanting to sell me meth i would be like god damn it i was right <laughs> like right there to his face i would be like i knew you were a meth dealer from the day one got it but no thank you you know <laughs> what i mean i would not sit there and be like oh, you sir at 3 a.m wanting to give me a pair of no what no <laughs> No, I'd be like, oh, I was right. If the fucking police end up going across the street and arresting her, I can gladly go out there and be like, have you witnessed this? I thought he was dead for a long time, guys. Oh. Like, I thought he's been dead for like a couple weeks. So, like, I've been paranoid and I've been thinking some shady shit's been up for a couple days now. Thank God you guys finally got here. <laughs> you know? But that's interfering and not your business. Or is it? It is. Because now there's a crime committed. Same yeah. with this neighborhood. They th they saw something. They called nine one one, and we vigilante this shit. We are just lazy in our neighborhood. We won't vigilante you. We'll report you and probably move on. Yeah, we ain't gonna vigilante. But they vigilante it. If anything, it's vigilanteism. It's not fucking horrible names like whatever the fuck they're calling it. A lynching. Lynching. That's so that that word breaks that would, my heart. It would you know it's you instantly put that word in there, and it breaks my heart. Because that makes it all about race. I didn't type the report. And it's so sad. Just I know. Reporting, I know. Yeah. And it. But it's not. It's the media. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. And it's sad. It truly is sad. <sighs> Do you but, research on people? You know, your scar's looking good. You want some some vitamins? You just can't see how puffy it? it is because I have my slipper on. Mm. I went back to work, and just I gotta give everybody an update on that too. Yeah. So I went back to work. And, um, if you guys prayed for me, your prayer sucked. Oh, Because literally, as I'm walking to the time clock, and I would have never cried in the store if I wouldn't have seen this person. Here comes at me my cousin-in-law, Tyler. And my cousin-in-law, Tyler, can see upon my face, because he personally knows me, that something is not right with me. And that I am fighting back yeah. something in myself. Yeah. And it is tears. And it is sadness. 
<laughs> and I'm hobbling along to the paint counter to clock out, crying secretly. And then I see him and he goes, I think he even made like the, oh, he didn't even get to like, ah, oh, oh, like finish it. And I was like, ah, oh, it's so much pain. I just want to go home. And I start crying like that. And so I clock out and I hobble the rest of the way through the store. And now it's just coming. So it yeah. won't stop because now I've acknowledged the pain. Did 12 people stop and ask No, you just okay? my one friend Kelsey did. And she's like, I love you. And if you need anything at all, you let me know. And I'm like, I'll be fine. I just want to go home. And so I sat in my park, in my driving spot for yeah. a minute. And I cried. I finished it. Right. That I thought I did. And then I was like, okay. Driving. No, I got home. So I was already crying. I cried the whole way. It's like two seconds. So I cried the whole two seconds and I got home and I finished my crying in the driveway. And then I was like, I'm going to be tough because now my kids, I don't want my kids to know I'm in pain because then they get sad. I don't want my husband to know I get in pain because then he's going to fucking act like I'm an invalid. And so I don't want anybody to know I'm in That's pain. That's called love and taking care of So you. yeah, I come in and I hobble past everyone nicely. And, but my husband is Trying laying in the, the room and yeah. like I walk in the room and I see him sitting, laying there and I'm like, fuck, I'm busted. And little did you guys know, he was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, fine. And he looked at me and he's like, no, you're not. You're in pain, huh? Bawling again. <sighs> it was horrible. It was fucking crazy. Dude, this is going to suck for a minute. And I found out that my friend Andrea, when she got her bunions taken off of her foot, I don't right. know if the world needed to know that or not, <laughs> but she did. She had bunions. I didn't even know what bunions They're were painful. until she told me. It's painful. That's when I learned. Yeah. She told me for her bunion, bunion, she took off six months. And here I am three months later, fucking walking marathons in the Walmart. I cried like a bitch, dude. I will admit it right now. Do you have I, your boot on? Yeah. I have to wear my boot for three more months. Okay. So, Do you wear it at work? Yeah, I have to. I, there's no way in hell I could walk through that store right now without my boot on. No way. What my boot still walks to my foot yeah, naturally. Yeah, layer no. of cushion. My foot can't even fit into a tennis shoe. It's so naturally swollen still that, like, it's they're two different sizes. Like, I have to wear my husband's flip-flops because they're, like, the ones you just... There's no toe thingy in the mm -hmm. middle. There's no butt crack thing mm -hmm. and so those aren't comfortable anyways no and so they're like two different sizes and so it was embarrassing the other day when he put them on because like one's like nice and snug and the other one's like Loop! hot dog on a hop down a hallway type of thing it's insane so yeah guys i don't know it's gonna fucking suck but hopefully i'm gonna try to talk them into letting me do the COVID 19 check-in uh-huh i'm only there for four hours so like I'll still do my job, but, like, hook it up, you know, with, like, a moment of, like, ass time. And I only say that because I know a manager listens to this. Well, they just hint, really fucking sit there hint. and just play Netflix anyways. Or okay, so I'm not going to rat this person out. And even though the manager does listen to this, I still won't rat her out, so don't ask me. I went into my store the other day, mm -hmm. and literally the door chick was literally watching Dead Like Me on Netflix. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm glad you're fucking here. How many people are in this store? You can't tell me, can you, Netflix? No. But I minded my own business and I didn't say a damn thing except for to my I'm fucking sure sister there's on the counter telephone. And she still kept. No, she was standing ding. up against the door and like sitting there. And the only reason I heard it is because it was one of the scenes I've seen. Oh. And so I was like, uh huh? What? Cha ching? I've heard that sound. You're watching fucking Netflix. <laughs> I've watched that show, <laughs> you but I didn't say work, anything. You get a lot of work on your podcast. I had so a mask on. See? Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, hook it up with yeah. the fucking spot to chill in a notepad, bro. I got fucking <laughs> podcast for days. Headphones. Yeah. I'm nice. <laughs> I'll cancel. You won't know I'm being a piece of shit and getting paid for it. Like, I don't know. So <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's why this is longer is because I guess you guys <laughs> just need to see what me and Gene are like. Cause I haven't stopped it. So <laughs> I'll probably fuck get in trouble. I'll stop it. We won't get in trouble. But anyway, you guys, yeah. Thank you for letting me bring this a mod story You're welcome. to you for a mod Aubrey. Anytime you wanna find you wanna do a story, Jane, I'm down. So there we go. There's a mod story and good old fashioned banter that I do usually by myself. So <laughs> now it's not so awkward. It's not awkward. 
I, well, you do a great She does job. listen, so she yeah. still knows everything. So I don't know everything. But well, that I do. I can help you a little bit. Well, when I'm here, I can help you. Yeah, now she gets to travel stuff. with her husband. How gay. I know. It. Any he was asking me why I wasn't already in the car coming. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm tired of driving to Arizona. Ugh, she'll be there soon. I'm the worst person to do not travel. But it's for work. She is folks. the worst person. So. Anyway. Anyways. But yeah, anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. I almost said Netflix like I was cool. Um, Facebook is what I meant. I think I said Twitter. Yeah, just follow me on all of it. You guys know all of it. Share it, like it. A rate on iTunes would be awesome if you're not going to be a douche like always. And Are iTunes getting better or no? iTunes always just sucks. Mm -hmm. Everything else is golden except mm -hmm. for iTunes. Like iTunes is just, I don't know why I ever even check it. But it's crazy because that's what everybody listens on. Oh, good. Except for, like, the people have gone out of their way to be like, I love you, but I listen on Spotify. Yeah. Everybody else is like, I love you. I'm like, well, if you love me, you listen to me on iTunes. So fucking rate my show better. But I'm not supposed to be judgmental like that. Hint, hint. I don't have iTunes. You can do it on a computer. Oh, okay. You can do it online with the www.oldschool.coms. <laughs> But I need we'll other do this off from YouTube, by the way. All right. Okay. Well, I love I all of no you. I watch the ID channel. It's terrifying. Terrifying. Yeah. Okay. Well, peace the fuck out, world. Thanks, guys. Bye.